Hi there, this is In The No News. Welcome to my channel. I'm coming to you today to speak to you about Jerron Pace, the stalker. Jerron Pace was born Jerron Johnson. And she was born April 19, 1993. She stood outside of the courtroom, of the courthouse, to stalk R. Kelly during his 2008 pornography trial so she could get a glimpse of him. From that time, up until the time that she said that in May, sometime in May, a friend, an employee of R. Kelly's had contacted her to, through MySpace regarding a party, which she said that she told her parents that she was going to be staying with a friend in order to attend the party. Still having people to believe that she was 19 years old. And remember, she told the reporter that she had an ID. She told the reporter she was 18. And that she also told uh, she had an ID to get inside the courtroom that stated she was 18 years old. She fooled the police officers. Okay, moving forward. All right, she allegedly, she said in May, that she made contact with R. Kelly. And at that point in time, she told him that she was 16 because they had sex. Then she also said that she had contacted, made contact with R. Kelly in June, which be by telephone. That's what she said on Lifetime, by telephone. And said so he took the telephone from the friend and said, I know you. I remember you from the trial. Thank you for your support. And at that point in time is when they supposedly hooked up. He invited her to his home, where told her to bring a bathing suit, and said they had sex. But mind you, she had said earlier that she had sex with him in May at the party and that she was a virgin and at that point she told him she was 19. Which one is true? When, were she, when did she tell him the truth? Was it in May or was it in June? Only she knows. Okay, moving forward. She stated that she was in a seven month relationship with R. Kelly. However, R. Kelly was on his tour. And the tour was from October, November, and December 2009. The, what's the name of the Lady Make Some Noise Tour? Okay, therefore, how could she have been in a relationship with him when he was on tour? And how could she be in a, could have been held hostage, captive in his home? She could have left at any time if she was there. Stalker. She also claimed that she and Dominique text each other. Okay, if you have a phone texting, okay, you can call 911. And on that same day, the police officers came to Kelly's home and did a wellness check, okay? And because Dominique was up 17, it was nothing that they could do. She could have yelled out for the police for help, help, I'm being held hostage. But no, she did not, she did not do that, okay? My theory is this, to make a long story short. Geronda Pace stalked this man. She stalked him, in, in my opinion, she stalked him for one reason and one reason only were to have sex with him because she got that idea from in court, sitting and listening to Al Duck conversation and videos. And she plotted that. She plotted where she could make her some money. And that's what she did. Now, I have another theory. How could her parents not know of this? How could they not know of this and not be a part of it? My theory, they were a part of it. What do you think? Do you think it was a plan to get money? Or she really 
was attracted to R. Kelly, uh, it, it was just absolutely plain for her to extort money from him. My conclusion is, it was a plan to extort money from him from the beginning. And that's why she stood outside of that trial. And she got all those ideas in her head once she was inside the trial and she listened to all of that testimony. That's my conclusion. Leave your comments below. And if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you everyone and have a good day. Bye.